Hello guys, and this is my newly acquired Ryko CMD custom message display. I'm gonna move this elevator button right here. Um, so I acquired this from the old diamond car wash, now squeaky clean audio wash. And a huge thank you to the owner for letting me take this and some foam strips. Anyways, this is the 16 character on two lines display. So what I've done here, I, I would do the test function where all the lights come on, but I already have the cover back on, so I can't do that. Um, until unless I take it off, which is a pain. So, I'm gonna walk you guys through some stuff that you can use to actually make a CMD work. This all has pre-programmed messages on it. So, I'm gonna start by doing, so I'm gonna plug this. So here's the CMD power. That USB is for five volts DC for the messages. So let's plug this into the wall here. Let's see here. You can see. Rico Manufacturing Company. So I'm gonna demonstrate a message, some messages real quick. So I've set it up so I can demonstrate a few things. So some messages only require you to tap the wire to one wire. So these are binary codes that I have to use. But others, I, I have to connect multiple wires together, then tap, tap the wire. So what I got here, I have a red wire, positive attached to the common, and the negative ground wire is attached to any of these. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna grab this, put that out of the way here. I'm gonna plug the USB in. This runs up five volts, and this one does. So what I'm gonna start by doing is I'm gonna start by tapping this to the blue wire, for example. So if I, so if I tap it, you'll hear that something's on. So you'll hear that buzzing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap this around real quick so I can keep it on. Once I can get it wrapped around, sorry guys. Let's try and keep this thing on. Right, so now, it should be saying something on the screen. Yep, it is. Wheel scrub. So as you can see, we have wheel scrub right here. So now I'm gonna demonstrate some binary parts. So these are called binaries. What I did is I, they're connected in here, cut, up, cut some off so I could just test it with the cover off. Then I wired them back up to this. So some of them, as I said, require your black negative wire to be connected to multiple wires. So I have something set up right here where I've, so on the binary bits, it's, I have, for this one I have one, eight, and 16, but on mine for some reason, even these are all backwards. Like these, this was like made wrong. So I have to, so instead of doing one, eight, and 16, I have to do 16, one, and two. So I've done that, I think, let me see. No, did I, yeah, I think I did. No, I'm not even too sure actually. What one did I do for this one? So I did one, eight, and 16. Yes, one, eight, and 16, did I do? I think it was 16, yeah, I had to do, it was one, two, and 16 originally, so I had to do 16, eight, and one. So, connect those together, as you can tell. Let's connect this real quick to so these three wires. And yes, it's safe for me to touch since this is only five volts. All right, got that connected. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it's supposed to say. Thank you for your business. Exit slowly through dryer. As you can see, we'll let it go one more time. It's gonna be it, once I unplug it all. So I'm gonna do some plug this, and plug the USB, and then we'll watch this turn off. And you have a little power thing on the back, so without further ado, that's gonna be it. 